Um, it's a very long, long title, isn't it? Microsoft Agent 15 Helper, and it may be a little scary, like Microsoft, what the hell is she going to talk about? <laughs> but actually, uh, MASH, that's the way I call it, is something, uh, it's a very practical tool. It can, can be um, directly used by teachers for teaching pronunciation, for teaching grammar, for teaching vocabulary, for teaching whatever they happen to uh, plan for. Um, you do have to plan for because MASH is supposed to be a, a presentation. Um, you, you have to previously uh, make it. But you can also use it with your students for them to, to construct it. So there are different ways of using it. In fact, the, uh, how you're going to use it is really up to you. So what I'm going to do is I will just uh, show how the program basically works, just the basics really, because there's, uh, there's even lots of little things that I myself am not familiar with, but I, I'll let you know what little problems I had, and we go on and I'll give you an example of how it can actually be used, right? So this is the, the interface. What you're going to do is you're going to choose a character to speak what you want him to speak, right? And uh, the characters can be downloaded from a website I'm going to show you. Um, the program can be downloaded very, very easily. You just, I, I'm also going to show this. And then, after choosing your character, I'm just going to choose a default character here. Just as a matter of uh, exemplifying. When I click on show, then my character is going to show. I can increase it. I can increase the, the size. I'm not going to do this, just to make it simple. And then, I can make it speak. Hi, guys. <laughs> My sound is not, it's not coming from here, is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Hi, guys. Ah, yes, yes it is, sorry. Okay, so um, I have forgotten something. I feel so good today. <laughs> what I can do is I can move. This is this is Genie. I can move Genie directly with my mouse, and this is going to be registered in my history here or I can use the, the tools to move it. So I will move it, move it to the center, move it to the bottom center, move to. <laughs> moves, it goes. I can invite another character to interact with it. I can use my presentation on top of another presentation. I can use it on top of any desk, uh, any like for example, you have a PowerPoint presentation where you're teaching grammar, let's say. You can use the characters to, to move around and to talk as the slides pass. It can also be integrated with the slideshow. I've never done that, but I know it can be done. <laughs> and it does some, um, there's this animation button. It can announce things. Let me come, let me put it here. Blinking, confused, congratulate. What's congratulate? Congratulate. Okay. <laughs> well done. Decline, do magic tricks as well. Well, magic trick is taking long. Don't recognize, explain, etc. So you are going to choose it according to what you are planning to do with it, right? So I'm not going to take long as uh, showing how it, it can be done because uh, once you, if you find the presentation interesting, you can go and discover by yourself. It's not such a big deal. So now let's see. It asks you if you want to save the the presentation you've just done as well, but I'm not going to do that. Now I will show you an example of a ready-made presentation. Great. <laughs> Man, sir. 
After this presentation, tell the group about this nephew you came across in Australia. This is a story among us. <laughs> you are. Here told me I could not pronounce your name correctly. <laughs> I tried many times. You are. You are. I are. I are. I think I got it. I can move it while the presentation is being done. It's okay. Hello, rescue. Did you sleep well? Just to show you that I can move whatever I want, and still it's there. You can always use your sunglasses. Hey, Laura. Are you excited about Halloween? This was done last uh, Halloween. <laughs> I am still choosing a costume. <laughs> Make the invisible man. You will see me there. <laughs> Dear Nora, you don't know, but I am so curious to see your hair. She's from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Oh, Frida. I love your clothes. You always look very elegant. Sorry to bother your class. It won't take long. Alan, Kelly, Cole, have you started your material evaluation? Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I suddenly got hungry. You can also hide the subtitles. Well, guys, I'll leave you now with Frida. Bye, bye, you all. Bye, students. Bye, professor. I will see you at the Halloween party. Bye. <laughs> okay, actually, I should have show, shown you maybe the first, uh, the, the other one first, because it, it shows, it talks about how to use MASH. <coughs> so uh, what I did was some sort of a meta presentation, I could say. <laughs> Let me show you. And then I, I just chose the title MASH for teaching. Again, I've got PD. I love PD. <laughs> I am so glad you came. Vera, we welcome you all. Right, Vera? Right, Petey. <laughs> well, you humans, and we terrorists, have this great capacity of speaking. <laughs> right. So Vera has invited me to talk to you about the Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper. You must be thinking. What the heck is that? Don't worry. Be very happy. It is a great tool for you to work with your pupils. I got hungry, Vera. May I invite someone else to meet these wonderful teachers? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Chidi. Hi, everyone. Hello, Chidi. Chidi, welcome to our meeting. Thank you. I was told we were talking about a great tool for teachers. Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper. PD, let's explain what teachers can do with it. You can write sentences and choose a character to speak it. <laughs> Sorry, I got hungry. Sorry. I got hungry. 
You can prepare short presentations to study vocabulary. To study grammar with fun. To teach pronunciation. Of course. To call out the students. Yeah. Pedro. Is Pedro present? Julia. Maria. Is Maria absent today? Good, TV. You can use it on top of a PowerPoint presentation. Good, TV. Or on top of anything on your desktop. Can we hide the subtitles? Yes, you can. You can also enlarge the polluted font. Choose different fonts. And discover a lot more. You will love it. Try it. Um, one thing I knew how to do before I just learned how to do is that uh, it's sorry. The pink I got hungry, but I meant white, so that you just have the character. Try the program. And let Vera know if you've been successful. Well, we will leave you now. To let you start trying. This can be a, a, a longer workshop with Sorry. Hi everyone. Thank you, Kitty. Hi, hi. Hi, Kitty. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Enjoy your new tool. So that's it for me. <laughs>